what time it is, huh? Everybody, it's the coach. This is the 2020 NFL Pro Bowl. All right, thanks, coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, it's the 47th meeting of the AFC and the NFC as they battle in the 2020 NFL Pro Bowl game. And he will be brought down here at about the 17 yard line. like this where the ball comes free it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is this is a quarterback the ball gets away from him everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense they're usually looking in the other direction downfield or have moved away from him in this case though a teammate is able to come up with the ball and i don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive this is third and long to throw is breeze Open man is Michael Thomas. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Ready? Ready? Breeze now on first down. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Breeze. He completes it to Julio Jones. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. NFC South to NFC South. Breeze to Julio Jones for a first down. Breeze now gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. He gets it to Thomas. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 12. Breeze to throw again. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now Breeze. And he will score. Touchdown, NFC. A 20-yard touchdown. And the NFC takes it all the way down the field to score on their opening drive. 
So the NFC with our first touchdown of the game. And, of course, we'll probably see some offense in this one. I don't know, though, that we'll see what we saw in 2013 when the NFC posted 62 points. You talk about pyrotechnics. That was crazy, even for a Pro Bowl. 62 points. I think you wore out your voice in that one, talking about all the touchdowns that were scored. I would love to see 63 or more, though, i got to tell you. All about offense in this thing. Pro Bowl offense. Let's go. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Mahomes in the AFC now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, wasn't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he's got the hook up to Landry. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Tariq Cohen of the Bears back deep for the NFC. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the AFC in possession of the football to start quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. Good coverage there. An even 50-yard punt leads to a return of five. And the NFC will take over first and ten. Drew Brees getting ready to go. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here. In this. And the pressure gets to Brees as he's taken down. The number one pick, Miles Garrett, coming in to drop him. Now Breeze on third down. He completes it to Jones. And down he'll go at the 25. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they... And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. But he will not make the first down Let's marker. Go. That'll be a turnover on downs. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the goat. Here they're going to be the goat. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just a call. They don't just say, oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something on. They've got the defense in the right spot. Just unsuccessful in that opportunity. They'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. Hopkins, the one receiver right. They'll try to run it. This is Connor. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And his guys are an extra point away now from taking the lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Extra point up and through by Myers. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and ten. That blitz coming and down he goes. Jamal Adams on the safety blitz. Too fast to handle. Check, check, check. Now Breeze throwing on second down. 
And that's caught inside the 35. A gain of 32 that time. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how insane was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback. So they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. Breeze now to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. This complete to Jones. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. They'll run with the Rams' Todd Gurley. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. So we reach halftime of the 2020 Pro Bowl with the AFC. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're going to get right back to it. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Mahomes in the AFC now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Mahomes going to throw. Sets up the screen to Gordon. He finds an opening past the 40. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 at a first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a deep... It's about every time. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. And movement up front looks like a false start for the AFC. And that'll set them back five. Still first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Aaron Donald with a sack. back on that one it leads to third down from the gun on third down Mahomes and down he goes they sack him back right around the 41 yard line Cameron Jordan in there to drop him for a six yard loss and that will lead to fourth down and that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. Led to a sack. That's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the... Conversation post because officials always tell you I don't want to throw the flag but you caused the play you did it I had to Mahomes now to throw it's Hill complete and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16 yard line give him nine there on the first down completion on second down now it's Connor 
And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed is that's going to move the chains. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. So the scoring dried up here in the third. Nothing that quarter for either side. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to bring up a third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They struggle to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. The NFC offense heading back onto the field. And one thing you'd like to see in a Pro Bowl, a competitive contest. We've got that just like the last two seasons, a one-score game as we play here in the fourth. What I'd love to know, what's the discussion on the sidelines of both teams right now? Because, you know, it's an exhibition type game, but as you said, as competitive as it is now, these guys are going to want to win. There may be some guys who sub some guys out trying to get back on the field and try to help their team win down the stretch. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Breeze to throw. Forced out to his left. Now he'll pull it down. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Bree's going to throw. And he connects with Ertz. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Brees to Ertz for the NFC first. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So it's the Ready. NFC with the football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Complete to Jones. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Party got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. Breeze to throw. Steps away to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Gurley. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's an 8-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Back to throw Breeze. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Now Breeze will bring his guys to the line to go for two. He'll try and run it with Gurley. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. And they're able to ground it in there on the two-point try. And you and I were talking before the game that two-point conversions from the 15-16 season, what has changed, what hasn't changed, partner? Yeah, I'll tell you what's changed is just your, no your normal strategy because now you're either kicking the football with the ball on the 15-yard line 
or if you decide to go for two, they put it on the two-yard line. So what are you thinking as a coach? Do I risk it? Do I go for it here? Do I try and gain a strategic advantage and maybe go for two early? That's what people are wondering about. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target, third down here. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. One final try for Mahomes. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So, Charles, a victory for the NFC. Final thoughts on this Pro Bowl? We had some fun, didn't we? Absolutely. A lot of excitement, some big plays to watch, a lot of those great matchups that we don't get to see during the regular season because sometimes teams don't play against.